Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Natasha R1. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about why do we struggle with feeling beautiful? Now, for those of you that follow me on my channel, you know that I've gone on this transformative and healing journey since the age of 13 um, to not just feel beautiful, but also, you know, to believe that you're beautiful. Um, I've struggled with uh, self-esteem issues, confidence issues for multiple uh, reasons. But I think the critical thing is understanding that, you know, beauty, you know, is in the eye of the beholder. Absolutely true. A lot of us look at society's definition of beauty and then we feel like we're not good enough or we're not worthy or we're not um, you know, fulfilled in that full dimension of beauty. So what I want to share today is that we all have the struggles. Um, I mean, even your Ashwarya Rai, the most beautiful woman in the world, has also admittedly expressed her struggles with beauty. And I'm sure um, a lot of the other Hollywood stars um, have also shared um, some of their struggles, like Jennifer Lopez, um, who I love and adore, um, Selena Gomez. There's so many of these um, women, powerful women, who have also struggled with the definition of beautiful. So the topic of the video is why do we struggle with that? And I think it's because we, uh, we grow up with this perception that beauty is supposed to look a particular way and if you deviate from that standard then you're not good enough um, I mean I grew up in obviously an Indian household um, and the beauty standard is pen straight hair um, absolutely fair skin flawless skin and uh, let me tell you something I am not that image so growing up in that kind of environment can really hurt your self-esteem and your confidence um, but you really need to tap into who you are to overcome that. Um, now in my 30s, I have a much clearer definition of who I am and what beautiful means to me. Um, in my 20s and my teens, oh, it was brutal. It was brutal. I mean, I went to an all-girls school and um, let's just say it, it wasn't the best experience in terms of um, feeling beautiful because you're always comparing yourself like, wow, that girl's beautiful and, and I'm not. And uh, I think it comes through time, it comes through experience, it comes through age, it comes through living, learning, failing, succeeding, and I think life in general. And you know, if you believe in God, um, it also comes through your faith. So I think I was, my struggle is definitely not my own struggle for a lot of the women and men that I speak to out there. Um, it is a difficult topic. It is something that's not easy to talk about. Um, you know, nine out of 10 times, not everyone's gonna wake up and say, oh yeah, I feel amazingly beautiful. You have your days. You have your days, especially for someone who's lost a lot of weight. Um, you know, you have those days where you still feel fat. It's crazy, even though I know I'm, I'm not. So it's a constant lifelong journey and struggle. Um, and it's important to acknowledge that struggle because if you don't, um, it just becomes something that, you know, eats at you. So now in my 30s, I definitely feel stronger. I feel better. I feel more beautiful and I feel more confident. And I think it's because I, I have a stronger sense of who I am. Um, and when you do that, it changes your perception of everything. It changes who you surround yourself with. It changes, you know, the person that you look in the mirror and you're like, whoa, is, is that me? Oh, that is me. Great. You look amazing, flaws and all. So whether you have a stretch mark or whether you have a zit, um, to still feel beautiful is a challenge but it's one of self-acceptance and being raw and being unconditional about it. It's a conscious choice. Every day I say, I am beautiful um, and I am worthy and I'm the best version that I'm striving to be for myself, not for anyone else, for me. And if you can work from that place of being unconditional with yourself 
and not so harsh because a lot of us are so so harsh with ourselves um, if we don't look like an Ashwarya Rai or we don't look like a Beyonce um, we criticize ourselves we put ourselves down especially as women um, and we need to build ourselves up and that's why I created this channel because I know that there are other people out there male or female that goes through the same struggles as me and so I'm sharing what has worked for me and that I'm still a work in progress and in construction and so I just wanted to share that today just a quick video on you know why do we struggle with being beautiful from a personal perspective and you know what are some of the things that are helping me through this whole process and, and journey 